In this section here, uh, as you can see, myself and Stephen Kill are going to talk about managing client relationships more effectively. Put yourself in, in the client's position. As Dave Smith has alluded to earlier on, you really need to be viewing your interaction with your client through their eyes. And remember, when they go in to meet you first, they are placing a huge amount of trust in your expertise and your knowledge. So, what will the client expect when he walks into your office? Well, the way we see it out there, there are sort of two, two strands happening here. Firstly, the sister will explain to the client how the case is going to be processed over the life of the case. Fairly straightforward, fairly factual, and easy to follow. The second one is far more subjective, and this should really align to your marketing strategy, because the client wants to know how you value them and you are portraying the firm's ethos of culture to the client. And that's going to be important in retaining the confidence, the client's confidence in your ability. But really, what the client is looking for is how is the firm communicating with them? Because very often, the, firm, the client will want to know that the firm's committing to the highest standards. So in other words, they're going to have timely reviews of the file, they want to have confidence that you're going to respond to their issues, and so forth. And this is something that you're going to communicate to the client when you meet them. So you're trying to instill confidence in your ability. As you all probably are aware out there, clients are more demanding, and they want to know more about what's happening on the file, what you're doing. So transparency and accountability is actually quite important. So any major decisions involving the case, the client will want to be involved with. Any costings regarding the case, the client will want to know straight away. So the area of trans transparency and accountability is becoming very critical in retaining the confidence that your client has with you. So it's really important at the beginning of the case, and you probably do this, set realistic expectations. Make sure that you're going to keep them informed as the case progresses. Because if you can invoke best practice standards, you're going to have happier clients. And more importantly, it's going to make your life easier managing the client, and hopefully with a more successful outcome. So what do we do to try and manage the resources of the firm to get the maximum out of the case? Well, there are two things here really that are quite important. One is your support staff, and the other is your IT systems. So having this in place, how is that going to help us deal with the client? Well, the key to managing any client, as we all know, is through effective communication. But in order to, to get that communication working for you, you need to make sure that the information, as I said, is accurate. So make sure that you have basic data entry rules that people are putting the information in the correct manner, in the correct order. Also, whether you're in the office or outside of the office, having access to the information quickly and easily is essential. You are now probably dealing with more cases than you ever did before with a lower profit margin. So every time you deal with the client, you need to make sure you're coming from a position of strength, and you need to make sure you're seen as being proactive in managing that client. Now, the interesting thing here is, with the advent of technology in modern society, there is a perception from your clients that you're always accessible 24-7. Do you use smartphones, whether they're iPhones or Android phones or iPads in your work currently? Now, let's see the response to that. 71%. That's incredible, because the next slide I'm going to show you is actually going to feed in to those statistics. Red Sea Research, for those of you who don't know them, are very involved in doing surveys and research for all types of bodies. They did research on the explosive growth of mobile devices in Ireland. And here's the statistics they came up with. In 2010, 19% of mobile phone users had a smartphone. It's either an, an iPhone or an Android. By the end of this year, look at that figure, they anticipate 71% of mobile phone users will have a smartphone almost exactly matching the response you gave to us just there in relation to using mobile technology. They're your clients. They're going to expect to access you anywhere, anytime. You need to use this technology to your advantage. Just because your client is sending off a quick question doesn't mean it's appropriate to answer it then and there. But at least if you acknowledge it, the client is aware that you're on top of the case. But really, Managing the case through the office resources, the key is the effective use of your IT, because that will fulfill best practice standards. 
And believe me, it'll save you a huge amount of time, but also instill full confidence in your client that you're dealing with their file in a professional and appropriate way. What you want to do is check on the quality of your data. Make sure that you've got correct standards in place for recording information. Make sure your precincts are relevant and that they're up to date. And if you haven't got workflows or case plans in place, start doing that now, because they can save you a huge amount of time when liaising with your client. And also make sure that your support staff are skilled up to a level that they're actually using the system properly. And make sure you can access your information in or out of the office easily.